Hello friends, welcome back to yet another speed test comparison. Here we have the newly launched OnePlus Nord 4 and we are going to do a quick speed test with the OnePlus 12R. Now while these two devices are in slightly different price segment with the OnePlus 12R retailing for around 39999 in India and I also get the OnePlus Nord 4 with a really powerful chip. Now both of these devices have a lot of similarities including the Oxygen OS 14.1 and both have really good processor. We have the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 here and we have the Snapdragon uh, 8 uh, Gen 2 so really good uh, devices uh, LPDDR5 etc now there is one difference this is uh, UFS 4.0 for the 256 gigabyte variant while this is UFS 3.1 even for the 256 gigabyte variant but while uh, the 128 uh, of these two devices are still UFS 3.1 so we are going to test the 256 gigabyte uh, RAM variant of these two devices so here we have UFS 4.1 here we have UFS 3.1 so that's the difference so let's just go to the about phone of these two devices you can see a very similar ui no difference whatsoever uh, in fact this is oxygen os 14.1 because we have not got the update this is oxygen os 14.0 uh, this is 14.1 snapdragon 7 plus gen 3 snapdragon 8 gen 2 and both have 5500 milliampere battery here we have 12 gigs of ram while this is 16 gigs of ram so that's the devices so 14 android 14 is the version so let's just clear off all the background apps and both the devices so there you go so none of the apps are running in the background so there you go now let's uh, see the network connections so we'll uh, just uh, enable the airplane mode on both the devices so there you go so uh, we have uh, connected to the same network and let's start the uh, speeder so let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see which of these devices performs uh, or opens apps faster. Now both have uh, the performance mode uh, turned on. So performance modes improves uh, the overall experience, uh, especially when you're gaming. So we have enabled the performance mode on both the devices. So let's see which opens uh, Asphalt 9 faster. In fact, exact same time. This is really good actually. Both have opened it in exact same time. Now next, uh, let's go to another interesting game, uh, BGMI. So let's see which opens BGMI faster. So here you can see here OnePlus uh, uh, 12R has taken a slight lead here and OnePlus 12R opens it faster. So uh, BGMI obviously uh, you can see that this is a uh, uh, more powerful chip so that impact will obviously be there. So next step uh, is the Play Store. So exact same time again now Chrome browser. Uh, here Nord 4 was slightly faster, Facebook, again Nord 4 was slightly faster, Twitter, exact same time probably uh, uh, the 12 hour had a slight advantage, now Instagram, again 12 hour had an advantage, Spotify, uh, Nord 4 was uh, slightly faster, Amazon, uh, 12 hour was slightly faster, Flipkart, again 12 hour was slightly faster, File Manager, exact same time. Settings, also exact same time. YouTube, again, this is a Nord 4. Gmail uh, is 12 hour. Camera, 12 hour is slightly faster. Maps, again, 12 hour is slightly faster. So you can see it's neck to neck performance uh, from both these devices. Uh, there's no clear winner in terms of opening of apps. But again, you would uh, definitely get uh, really good performance from both the devices. Now next, let's see the memory management. So let's see how good the memory management of these two devices are. So we'll open the apps uh, in the reverse order and uh, we'll see how good uh, the experience is. So as of now, all the apps are available in the memory. And uh, let's see other apps as well. So as of now, all are retained in the memory. The Chrome browser is available. Play Store is available. Now going to the games. Now games both are available in the memory. And finally Asphalt 9. So you can see here. In fact both have reloaded it. Uh, so quite similar uh, memory management uh, in these two devices. So that's the memory management of uh, these two phones. Now next uh, let's uh, see uh, the speed, the network uh, speed of these two devices. So we have connected both the devices to the same uh, network. So let's start with uh, Nord 4. So quite similar in terms of uh, uh, the speed, uh, almost similar. Next, let's go to the synthetic benchmark. So uh, we have the synthetic anti-2 benchmark. 
12 lakh 93,000 almost close to 13 lakh this is 14 lakh 79,000 so again uh, we know that uh, the snapdragon 8 gen 2 is more powerful than the snapdragon 7 plus gen 3 but even though this is a 700 series chip uh, we can see that the scores are not bad it's actually very good actually uh, so you can see here CPU score, the GPU score, memory score and the UX score. So in all the scores you can see here Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 wins but then this is definitely good uh, for this chip. Now next uh, is the storage test. Now this is where things change. Uh, we have the UFS 3.1 versus UFS 4.0. That's a massive change. You can see here the value 79,000 almost. Here we have 1 lakh 6 thousand, uh, uh, 66,000 uh, here score. So that is uh, way different. So this is UFS 4.0. This is UFS 3.0. And let's also see the Geekbench test of these two devices. So, so let's uh, check uh, the Geekbench score. So you can see here 18761901 and uh, here we have 4985 and multi-core score is 5316. So again uh, very similar results uh, but then uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is more powerful. So that was uh, the uh, speed test comparison, the synthetic benchmark and the network uh, uh, speed along with the storage test of these two devices. So OnePlus Nord 4 is definitely good for the price segment it is being offered. So that was the speed test comparison. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.